So, because you've been so awesome, especially lately with all these interviews we put together, this is like a, a gift for you. So we just want you to watch this. Oh, Jillian. R to the U, T to the A, H to the Wizai Ruthie. It has been such a pleasure to see you grow from baby freshman Ruthie to senior dominating Ruthie Hebert. You know what I really love about your game is every time you step on the court, you step on with fierceness and confidence. On top of that, you establish yourself down low and you let people know who you are. And I love to see it. I loved watching your journey over this past four years just to see how your game has developed and who you are now is so amazing and i know the sky's the limit for you girl so i just also want to wish you good luck this postseason continue to go out there and show the world who you are who oregon women's basketball is and bring home a natty while you're at it <laughs> i hope people still aren't mistaking you for me and me for you but if they are it's all love i'm sending you love from israel go ducks do your thing ruthie Hey Ruthie, it's Holly Rowe from ESPN. I wanted to say congratulations on senior night and just the unbelievable career you've had at Oregon. I think you know, when I first saw you play at the Elite Eight, I just fell in love with your spirit, your personality, and I'm so proud of how you've grown as a woman and as a player. Congratulations, you are just a bright ray of sunshine, and we love having watched you all four years. Mwah. Hey Ruthie, oh, I cannot Ruthie. believe your senior weekend is about to be here. Time definitely flies. I just want to say it's been a pleasure getting to know you and playing with you at Oregon for three years. I love how much you've grown on and off the court. You've had such an amazing career and I'm so proud of you. Just keep being you, keep dominating on the court, and keep being the shy but amazing friend that you are. I love you and go Ducks! Ruth, we're, we're so proud of what you've accomplished. We're so proud of what you've become. And you know for your mother and I that the basketball is the smallest part of it. It's you know, it's the young woman that you've become. It's the, that we see that you're going to go on from this in, in whatever you do, whether it's more basketball or anything else, and you have the, the strength and character to be successful. And, and we congratulate you, and we're so happy for you. Yeah. Sweet Pea, we're just thrilled that you made it this far and that you've earned and come through with what you really deserve. And so congratulations, honey. We love you. Hi, Ruthie. I just wanted to say congratulations on your career so far. I know you've got some unfinished business to do in the NC2A tournament, but I just wanted to say thank you for representing the University of Oregon and the women's basketball team in the way that you have. You're, you've made the most out of your four years here. You've developed into just such a global player. Defensively, you're stellar and you're a defensive stopper, and it must be fun to play in front of you because I know you're going to protect the house and you've protected the house of the Oregon Ducks. And I would just want to compliment you on the way you've developed your low post game. You are fundamental. You're a big fundamental, but you're also a go-to player. And the team has relied on you to make the most out of that space down below the basket. I think most of all, though, I just have enjoyed watching your personality. You have such a wonderful humility about you. You have such a passionate presence on the floor and off. And that big smile of yours, it's just beautiful and it transcends everything that you do. So, so thank you for making us all proud as alumni. And I want to wish you the best in this upcoming NC2A tournament and the best in your future. Uh, you've done number 24 proud as, as well as anyone could ever do it in an Oregon Duck uniform. So thank you. Oh, that's cute. I can't mess up my makeup. <laughs> so when you watch that, how does it make it feel? Um, just even more love. Like love by, you know, Jillian, who's a great, all these great players saying good job and they're proud of me. Just makes me feel even more special and especially my parents, just a lot of love. Jillian, you know, she was the, the great Oregon post player before you came. I mean, she was the legend, and uh, I didn't know people confused you, which yeah. seems really <laughs> but um, what's her friendship meant to you? A lot. I remember getting recruited by Oregon and meeting her, seeing her, and just she was the main player I watched before I committed there. And I was like, dang, I want to be like Jillian. Like, she's so good, and she's just, like, one of the best post players I've watched. And just to have her kind of mentor me and talk to me even after she left was just, it meant a lot to me. And to have a teammate like Maite take the time and to the message. I mean, she's so soft-spoken, but <laughs> has such a, a big game and she's such a big heart. What, what was that like to watch? Amazing. I mean, I lived with her for the last two years. She's one of my best friends and she is soft-spoken and shy as well. So just having her 
say like good job and she's proud of me it means a lot you can talk about your mom and your dad i have i, I said this in the post game i have never seen anyone with more people on <laughs> it was like an entire section came down i think there were like 50 yeah. more or more what was just your mom and dad just that whole crew that came out just awesome. I think I remember some of my aunts were like, we haven't watched you play since in San Diego when you were playing AU High School play. Like, you got so much better. And I was like, yeah. And it was just so nice to have everyone come and see where I live and how much better I got and just to be proud of me. And I was so proud to have them there and, you know, say thank you for making me, you know, who I am. It was just such a good weekend. And there's not many people that you get an interview and then with Bev Smith, she's like giving you like the coaching angle on the It's crazy. Post. What's that like? <laughs> crazy. She's a legend. And it was so nice. I mean, you know, I have her number and it's so nice of her to let me wear this number these last four years. So I'm glad I could make her proud and that, you know, it's just so great to have a legend say something about me.